Hello and welcome to the channel. In a previous video we saw how to get the last row with content in a worksheet with Excel VBA. Now let's see how to get the last column. And this is very similar. Again we're gonna declare last call as a long just in case just in case we have more than 32,000, although in this case we don't have that many columns in an Excel worksheet, but it's good to have it. And then we're going to have last call again as cells. Now we're going to use, for example, row one as a reference. And here's where we want to have columns count. So we're going to go to the last column in the worksheet. And then with the end property, we're going to go Excel to left. So we're going to go from the last column to the right, moving to the left until we get a column with data. And then we're going to have the column number. If we put this in a message, in this case, we're going to have number five, which is column E. So what happened here? We took row one as a reference and column five or column E is the last column with data in that row, in row one. That's why we should rather use row two to make sure we have column H if that's what we want to get, right? But this is just an example. Usually you're gonna have a table like, like this only. So you could perfectly use row one as a reference. But in this case, we have some more data. So, so we're going to look at row two. Now, if we run the macro, surprisingly, we get column seven, which is column G. And you may wonder why that happened. So that happened because in row two, which was our reference now, we have a merge cell. So this cell is merged in column G and H. So this can give you the wrong number. And also in row three, we have two merge cells. So it would also give column seven instead of column eight. So we need to be aware of that to see which row we want to reference. Um, and we can actually tackle those kind of things using the other method. And there are actually several other methods, but Let's again use in sheet one or the active sheet or whatever sheet you want to get the last column with data, having the used range in that sheet together with a special cells. And here we're going to target the cell type last cell and now get the column. As you see now, if I comment this one here and we run the macro, we're going to actually get Eight. So that's column H, which is going to be the last column with data in our used range. Now, that's because we don't have merged cells over here. Now, if these were all merged cells, like this two and this one, we would actually get column seven. Okay, just for the record. And that's how we get the last column with content in a worksheet with Excel VVA macros. Thanks for watching.